Now the green selling points of the Polarcus fleet is uh, so much more than the green color of its exterior hulls. If you look in, into the intrinsics of the vessel, of how we basically built the vessel platform, we went back to basics. We looked at, okay, what is the market looking for? What are the clients looking for? Well, we're the only fleet in the world uh, who has the Ice Class 1A, which is uh, just before you come into an icebreaker. Of course, you can't shoot seismic in ice, but we have the opportunity to come in to an area sooner and leave later. We clearly have a uh, unique offering when it comes to uh, Arctic uh, surveying, uh, as we have uh, the environmental features on the vessels, like high ice class, like uh, double hull on the vessel, uh, like catalytic converters uh, to minimize uh, the gaseous uh, footprint. Uh, so, so it helps in Arctic, but it also will help in other environmental sensitive sea areas. Polakis have made the conscious decision from very early on to go with what we consider the top of the range, off the shelf seismic equipment to provide the solutions to our clients. On the source side, we use bolt technology air guns to deliver uh, what we have designed as a real competitive advantage. Um, it enables us flexibility of the in-sea gun arrays in that we can switch between a 4240 cubic inch array and a 2940 cubic inch array. That provides two advantages. One, in environmentally sensitive areas, it enables us to critically look at the source volume to see whether we really need the larger source volume, which can have an additional impact on the surrounding environment. So it gives us the flexibility to switch down to the smaller array volume um, with minimal operational um, intervention. On the receiver side, we've chosen to go with the Surcell Sentinel solid streamer, and the big advantage of that is that it is um, keeping a lot of these dangerous fluids that we see in some other systems out of the water. The solid streamers are obviously uh, a huge advantage for, uh, for a few reasons. I mean, you know, if you hold a streamer out at sea at the moment, it's not such a major issue. But obviously if you hold an oil-filled streamer, then you lose a lot of oil, which uh, obviously it's not only bad for the environment, it also means that, um, that you, the streamer will sink. The X-Bow, it's uh, designed to reduce pitching. By reducing pitching, you will also uh, be able to maintain a uh, specific speed while using less power, which also in turn, you will use less fuel. So it's also a environmentally friendly design, if you will. We were able to capitalize on our vessel design just this past, uh, past summer as the uh, North Sea season was closing. Through our strategic relationships that we have, uh, we were able to negotiate uh, permission for a northern sea route passage, and that is sailing a vessel across the top of Russia. We were able to save uh, just over uh, 800 tons of, of CO2, uh, and that's directly uh, related to the minimizing the transit distance, if you will, by saving uh, eight days on the total duration. And with a smaller vessel, small displacement, uh, better block coefficient of the hull, propulsion systems, the backup systems, the DP2 systems, everything else which we put together is a, is, a, is a model that reduces our cost and increases our efficiency and reduces our risk. So the aim is to reduce the risk and the exposure uh, to ourselves as well as to the client as well as to the environment and try and achieve that at the same time. Then we have the only platform that's available in the industry today uh, to give the client 